are here today to play the game that is sweeping the nation, Find the Man. We're gonna give you two pictures, and we're gonna ask you to identify which one of these people is a biological man. Do you think you can do that? I hope so. Out of these two athletes, this one or this one, which is the biological man? I think I'm gonna have to go with this one. That is correct, that is a biological man. How did you guess? Um, because it looks like a guy. He's built like a linebacker. I mean, he's huge. He's got large muscles, a square jaw. You are correct. That is Mouncy. He is from Australia. Uh, he is a rugby player, and he is, I believe, almost six foot five. He is enormous. Right or left, which one is a man? Yeah, that would be the right. And what makes you say that? I mean... Look at the, the size of the shoulders and the, the weight and all of that. His body combined. mass is overall like completely different. There's yeah, no way. Totally different. I mean, he's clearly a man with his body, his muscles. Still looks like a guy. <laughs> Still looks like a guy. I'm noticing a pattern here. Absolutely mind blowing that this was allowed at the Olympics, um, the highest competition you can have. We have two competitive swimmers, right and left. Which one is a man? like a guy. <laughs> I'm a really tall girl and I'm still nowhere close to that so. I have personal experience swimming against Thomas, about a foot and a half taller than me. Um, you, we jump in the pool and sh it's already you know like a body length ahead and I definitely know that one is the male. As somebody who's here who clearly was able to tell a biological man from a biological woman, what is the difference? As a woman, I think it's the most anti-woman anti thing that could even possibly be done to say that a man is a woman. They're clearly different. Yeah, I competed against a freshman when I was a senior and they were a male and I trained for years. I mean, I would started playing tennis when I was in like third grade and did it all the way up until I was like 18. And I lost to this individual because they were just had better stamina than I, they were faster. They could withstand all the elements better than I could. It's like we're trying to defy science and that is a bit crazy. It's common sense, it's not anything that's meant to be extremely hurtful. It's just, you know, using our brains and making a decision and that's exactly what's happening and it's blatantly obvious.